Hello everyone, this is Ty Slatter with GTA Sports and welcome to another edition of GTA's ISO Mode. If you haven't already, make sure you follow GTA Sports Network and GTA Heat Check on all social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, GTA Sports, and don't forget GTASportsNet.com for all things in the world of sports. Now today I gotta talk about a team I really don't like talking about, but after going on an 11 straight win streak, I have no choice but to give them their props. The Brooklyn Nets are red hot. Didn't think it was possible. They had the most chaotic offseason, arguably in the history of the NBA. Yet here we are. The Brooklyn Nets have won 11 straight. They look like the team that we always knew that they should be with all the talent they have between Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and all the pieces that fit around them. And it seems like with under, you know, Jock Vaughn as the head coach instead of Steve Nash, as we all predicted, shouldn't have been the coach to begin with, is actually showing us that this team can win games. Ladies and gentlemen, they're number two in the East as of right now. 24 and 12 at the time of this recording. Win percentage over 600. They're only a game and a half back behind the Red Hot Celtics. No need to make a video about them right now. We already know Jason Tatum's in the MVP conversation right now. He's definitely fighting between him and Luka or rather who's better. Giannis is always in the mix, but I'll say that for another video. Today, the Brooklyn Nets are hot. 11 game winning streak. 9 and 10 and 6 in the conference, 12 and 5 on home, 12 and 7 on the road. What changed? Consistency, coaching, leadership, stability. This team had none of these things I just mentioned at the offseason and going into preseason NBA training camp. Honestly, with this roster, if everybody's healthy, the one thing that they're missing right now, and they know it, Kevin Garnett said it, he actually tweeted it out on Twitter a couple of days ago. They're missing an anchor. They're missing a big. They need somebody to play the big five. Um, Kevin Durant, even though he has the length and the wingspan to play the five, we all know he doesn't have the build to play the five. He's not strong enough to bang with a Giannis Antetokounmpo or, you know, a Joel Embiid, a Nikola Jokic, and the list goes on. Uh, he's a stretch four that can play the five when you need him to, but he shouldn't be playing center. He's not. His body's just not built for that type of impact in the paint. Ultimately, Kevin Durant's a scorer from anywhere on the floor. We all know what his offense is and, and the dominance that he possesses on that side of the court. When you have Kyrie Irving focused on basketball, this is what you get. You get two future Hall of Famers, multiple All-Stars between them, multiple championships between them. Uh, you know, again, these two guys, when they're focused on basketball and turn out all the white noise in the media, don't get caught up in any scandals, trends just stick to playing basketball these two guys can get you to the finals both of these players have been impact players in the nba finals in their career at some point with different teams so when they came together the league expected championship or bust as soon as kevin durant recovered from his torn achilles this is 2019 mind you 2018 2019 so again the expectation was already set. They just picked the wrong coach. Steve Nash is not a coach. We knew that. It just took them a few years to finally come to the realization that Steve Nash was part of the problem. Jock Vaughn should have got the job when they fired Kenny Atkinson. Been saying that. He was already a part of the franchise as assistant head coach for years. He knew that he knows the game. Well respected across the league by multiple players that are, you know, future Hall of Famers, All-Stars, you name it. It seems like they finally figured it out. When they didn't re-sign Kyrie Irving, he's on a he's in a contract year, so he knows what he's playing for. He's playing for his career at this point. So now you got some pressure. He has to show up and stay healthy. Kevin Durant demanded a trade. The team made it abundantly clear we're not trading you. You signed a deal. You still got you owe us three more seasons. You're gonna give us our three seasons because if we trade you, it's gonna be for an overhaul. And there's not too many teams that are dumb enough to make that trade. As you can see, he's still a Brooklyn Net. So here we are. They had to make it work. Ben Simmons finally decided to play. Mentally got into you know mentally checked back into the league. Mentally checked back into the game. And as you can see, he has been just as integral as he's supposed to be as the third option. And his defense is really was carrying these teams into wins. Because we all know the Brooklyn Nets don't play defense. None of their players on starting five, nor their role players, maybe outside of Royce O'Neal and Evan Sumner, but you can only get so much out of them when it comes to defense. You got the veteran leadership of Patty Mills. 
you know, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, and TJ Warren went healthy, they're not the biggest defenders. So when Ben Simmons is on point, the defense is on point. Kyrie and KD feed off each other. I mean, I've, I've seen enough. I knew what these players could do, but did I ever want them to win a championship with this roster? No, because I thought it was unfair to the rest of the league that these teams even got together. Just being honest. Where do I see them landing? I mean, they're landing right where Antonio predicted. Antonio Turner predicted this on the podcast. I didn't want to agree with it at the time because I just don't feel like they deserve to win. But the Nets are a top three team in the East as of right now, and we're, we're nearing all-star break. So they're hitting their stride at the right time. They do have. I do hear reports uh, that the San Antonio Spurs uh, center Jacob Portal possibly could end up in Brooklyn. They're gonna probably move some pieces around. They do have some pieces that are expendable. Uh, they're gonna have to get bigger at the five if they're gonna if they want to make a playoff run and not get swept or knocked out by a team like the Bucks or the Celtics, teams that have beat them in the past. Because there was lack of size, lack of defense, uh, lack of closing out from the perimeter. Um, you know, a lot of their zone defense and man coverage just wasn't there. Because this team thought they could shoot out everybody in the league and just outscore everybody. When it's not how you win games. And we all know defense wins championships. If you don't play defense, you're not winning the championship. Because the game slows down dramatically from the regular season to postseason. And you got to play the same team in the best of seven. That means they can figure you out, minimize your strengths, maximize your weaknesses. So you have to know how to close out, box out, and make sure the other team doesn't keep up with you bucket for bucket. You cannot trade buckets and win championships. It does not work like that. One of you are going to burn out, if not both of you, and it's going to come down to the last possession. And if you're not doing your job on the defensive end of the court, the other team's going to get the final bucket or get the foul call and send the right shooter to the line for the charity strike for those free buckets. It happens every time. Look at the Phoenix Suns, a, a team that I don't want to do a video for here soon, but I'm going to have to based on the fact that there's a lot going, a lot of turmoil going on there with DeAndre Aiden, who didn't want to get re-signed to begin with, really wanted to be a pacer, but, of course, Phoenix matched the offer. We'll do that for another. That's another video in itself. Devin Booker can't stay healthy. Chris Paul's on the verge of retirement. His body's falling apart as we speak. The game to game. I mean, it's a whole, that's a whole nother video. Bottom line, the Brooklyn Nets are showing that they're capable of staying focused on basketball. Something they haven't shown since they brought this team together. It's been toxic ever since. KD leaving Golden State on bad terms. Kyrie leaving Boston on bad terms. They brought a lot of toxic energy to Brooklyn and expected to win championships with that. Got James Harden, lost James Harden, lost a lot of picks and players in the process of James Harden and wonder why he didn't stay. He saw the writing on the wall. These guys cannot get it together and there was no defense. And he's getting older and his body was falling apart as well. So, of course, we'll do a video on him soon too since he wants to go back to Houston, according to multiple reports. If the 76ers don't make it to the finals this That's year. my Brooklyn Nets video. This has been another episode of GTA's ISO Mode. You can follow me at Ty Slayer on all social media platforms. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to GTA Sports on the YouTube. GTA Sports Network, GTA Heat Check as well. This is Ty Slayer. And until next time, take care.